Hello my friends, my name is Catalina and sometimes when I'm not doing chores around my house or in the kitchen, I like to work on little crafty projects and to create things that I can give to other people or I can use myself. A few weeks ago, a friend asked me if I can make um, eyeglasses cases and uh, I made a few. I sent them to her and she liked them very much and that encouraged me to uh, make a video. So today I'm going to show you how I'm making the cases. Uh, I already made a few as I told you and I kept a few. So this is one. It's made with two pieces of uh, coordinating fabric and inside has a lining. Um, this one uh, is a different fabric on one side and a different fabric on the other side or this one again is very Christmassy <laughs> and um, yeah it's lining with the same kind of lining and so today I'm gonna show you how I'm making this. It's a very short video and uh, you make it very quickly. So um, stay with me and enjoy watching. To make the eyeglasses cases, which I have a few here, we need a plan. So I draw here a rectangle. I am planning on making this eight inches long and three inches wide so uh, um, I need to cut uh, the fabric eight inches and a half by six inches and a half because I need to have a seam allowances so let's do this first and then we're gonna sew it and I'll show you how it looks so we need three pieces of fabric we need the fabric that goes in the exterior. We need a, a fabric that is called batting and is used in quilting. And we need the lining. So we're gonna cut all three of these the same size, eight inches and a half and by six inches and a half. You can either use uh, scissors or you can use the rotary cutter, which is very good. I'm gonna uh, bring my sewing machine forward and I'll show you how I put it, all this together. So first of all, I'm gonna sew the, um, the lining with, with the front fabric face to face, like so. We leave one fourth, uh, one quart seam allowance. I turn it like this, and I press it with my, with the tip of my finger, and so again. So I, I want to catch the. The seam allowance here inside. Now I'm adding the batting and I'm making sure it's up to this edge. Yes. Okay. And I pin it just to keep it in place. And I'm going to start quilting it. I'm going to change the foot of the uh, sewing machine 
and I'm gonna use this darning foot that I'm always using for uh, quilting okay I'm gonna use a white thread uh, so you can see what I'm doing oh I, I need to lower the uh, feed dogs here and I can start in the middle or I can start anywhere as you see these two pieces are together now and the fabric looks stiff as <laughs> just a few wiggly wiggly lines here and there and now I'm done with the quilting part and I change back the foot. And right now we're gonna turn this like this and gonna sew around the bottom and all the way to the lining edge. So we go one quarter of an inch. Don't forget to put the feed dogs back on. We can pivot here. And go all the way down. I'm gonna cut the corners a little bit. So it won't be too bulky. An extra thread. And we just turn it inside out. Like this. I'm using a sushi um, stick. And just push it down here. Make sure the corners are nice. And then we need to cut to sew this edge. We push this inside. And here you have it. Your eyeglasses case. Beautiful. I'm gonna make more and I'm gonna give them presents for Christmas to my friends who are using glasses. I think they're very cute and very good idea. So I hope you like this project and you will want to see uh, more videos. Please uh, subscribe. Uh, also give me a like. I will enjoy to see that you like the video. This is the only way you can tell me you like the video and you can make a comment. So um, stay cool until I see you next and uh, have fun whatever you're doing. Bye!